Hello everyone my name is Sasha Saint Ryder and you are on my Flowform channel dedicated to creating music on mobile gadgets. First of all I have a question for you, please write in the comments under the video which direction you are more interested in videos on my channel. Music creation guide to reviews of plugins and applications. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my Instagram channel, link in the description. And yes, thanks a lot for your donations. This is very motivating and helps in buying new plugins. And today I will show you how the track is made, not only in a particular genre, but in a very characteristic and original sound. As soon as now this direction is not called mid-tempo, dark techno, dark electro and even cyberpunk. Initially, a similar sound could be heard from guys like Justice, Soul Rex, Sebastian, Simi and Mobile Disco, G. Saffelstein. One of the most famous artists with this sound. Time passed and this sound became even more harsh and today such names as Extra Terra, Hyper, 1788L, Owl Vision. This direction is inherent in noisy, annoyed and aggressive bass. Dumb but punchy beat. Caustic, cold and dark melodies. The sound experience is grey, oppressive and heavy, but stylish as hell. Sound like this could easily be the soundtrack for the new Matrix or Cyberpunk 2077, the mood of the neon megacities of the future, but with the blackness and hopelessness of the human soul. If you have difficulties while watching my videos regarding Cubasis, then I highly recommend watch my big review. Link in description. The first thing we will start we set 100 BPM. The first instrument will be a rhythmic melody that will form the basis of the entire track. I will create a MIDI track. I have a MIDI clip prepared for this. Sounds like this. Let's change the acoustic piano to a synthesizer. I use a synthesizer from Gleese Alpha. Also, I have already wounded the preset beforehand so that we do not waste time on it. I will copy it several times. Next, I'll add Koala FX. Here I like the built-in reverb. Part of my part will be dry, part of the part will be reverb. To do this, you need to write automation. Press this letter R to play automation and W to record automation. Turn on play and record. A few points I liked. In order to display the automation, we go here automation and press the letter E. Here we see our automation. I will not take all the parts. I like this part. I'll delete these two pieces. This one will be the basis for me. Next, I will add the effect of the same police audio sidekick. This is the sidechain effect. In this plugin, you can immediately hear the kick in the sidechain to this kick. By the way, you can immediately rename it. Let's call it Let's Say Arp 1. But we don't need this kick that plays in the sidekick itself. We turn it off. We press this ghost button. And we only hear the influence of the sidechain. You can customize it a little. I'll down threshold a little bit well. For now let's dwell on this option. Next layer I will add another MIDI. The next synthesizer is called UNO LX2 from Tall. This is perhaps one of the most successful emulations for both computer and iOS Roland Juno synthesizer. I also found a preset. It's built into the bass sounds I just hit one note and once the arpeggiator works. Hold mode that is it plays the note itself pressed by me. I don't even need to hold her. In order to record this note in my MIDI, I press the arm button on the channel and press record. Enough. All MIDI are registered. Now in the synthesizer itself I need to turn off the hold button, so that the arpeggiator does not work. Now let's adjust our sound a little turn on the mixer. Quieter. And the sound itself in the synthesizer is also a little bit in tune. I will fit the filter and resonance. And you can also tidy up the envelope a little. We got such a low layer that makes our ARP sound more dense. 
Well I will also add side kick to the effects. Turn off the kick. It turned out such a pulsating bass. What you need for the foundation. Next I'll add a kick that will be in our intro. Well this soft kick will suit us. Immediately turn it down in the mixer by about 6 decibels. It's such a soft kick. We need it for the intro. In the drop, we will certainly have more powerful kick. Next, I have this low pulse. This is something like our ARP 2, but lower. I also created it beforehand but decided to save it in audio, so as not to waste time cheating from scratch. And let's hear how it sounds from the fifth bar. We need it in order to create more pressure before the drop. Drop will go with us from measure 9. We need an interruption of course. This interruption could be assembled from scratch. But we won't waste time on this therefore. I already collected it previously. Let's put it on the 8th bar. Let's remove unnecessary sounds. Let's admit these low frequency sounds. Immediately turn the interruption down. Perhaps low pews will return. Please note that after the interruption we still hear the delay and reverb of our previous MIDI tracks, so I'll freeze them. First, it will save us processor resources. Well, secondly it will give us a very simple opportunity to cut off unnecessary tails of effects. I will repaint the frozen channels. I'll send them up. If you've previously watched my videos on creating other compositions, then you have already noticed that I often freeze channels and store them up. Let's remove the extra tails. Next, I will add this atmosphere. I'll leave this atmosphere from about 5 bar, listening. Duplicate it. I have this build up bass. I also created it previously. It already has automation and effects. Therefore, so we don't have to waste time winding up. But in the future I will definitely show you how I made all these sounds separately. Subscribe to my Instagram channel. There I post a short minute video of how I create various sounds. The link will be in the description. Let's also start from about the 5th clock. Remove the extra tail. Let's go into the mixer right away and make it quieter. Excellent. Perfectly matched to our drum fill. To strengthen the build up, we need another effect. I have these ready made risers. We'll both throw them into the project. Let's put this short one right at the end under the drum fill, but this one will be dispersed. Let's hear how the intro turned out. Let's go do a drop. Kick in our drop will be completely different. More powerful, more aggressive, assertive. Here is such a powerful punch and kick. Be sure to throw it on a separate track. All instruments should be on their own separate track. Don't make this mistake by any means, as beginners very often do. Do not throw several different effects on one audio track at once. Either different kicks on the same track. Don't do this under any circumstances. This is critical for both arrangement and mixing. Therefore, we separately create an audio channel specifically for the second kick. Well, first of all, we will make this kick quieter. Also by about minus 6 decibels. Add clap to it. For now, I'll leave it that way. Duplicate. While I make such a formulaic drum pattern. But then we will be able to remove some tools, some Walter. Just so that we have a common understanding so that we immediately work in 16 measures. Otherwise, if you make 4 bars, then your creativity is immediately limited to these 4 bars. And very often I am asked the question of how to develop an arrangement. Here is one of the moments. I recommend to immediately write at least 8 measures and even better 16.
I have such a ready-made loop from the sample library. He will pump our kick very well with clap. There is immediately a click from the kick. Snare, percussion what you need. Let's mix it in. Also I have two more hat loops. Also in both of them. Let's mix them. Let's put the sidekick plug in on them. Here without sidekick. Just a straight rhythm. And that's how the swinging rhythm. Then you can throw the hat in the second loop. I'll put it down first, but we'll play it a little later. Now you can start tonal instruments. And the first such tool I have is very interesting steps. In principle they sound very similar, so you can leave them on the same channel. We can say that this is one tool. We have a rhythmic basis. Now we need to fill these voids with some basic main lead or bass. And for this I have prepared beforehand such a main bass. This is a multi-layer three-layer lead. This is a synth sound overdriven by various fuses. Also on my Instagram channel I will definitely show how I created it. Let's add it to the audio track. But in fact, the basis for the drop is ready. Create an audio track. I will add such noise effects to it. This is ordinary white noise, filtered in some places. We see him playing on the second hit of snare and before four snare. These ordinary noises actually produce a very rich and interesting rhythm. Take on arms. It works in almost any genre. Normal filtered white noise. Further, to emphasize the first hit of drop, I'll take this crash. Compare without it. And with him. I will play it. Somewhere around every four bars also I have such an open hat. We will add it starting from measure 17. It will also go well with our future melody. Let's put it on the weak beat between kicks as standard. It sounds a little dry. You can add reverb to it. From the 17th measure, the melody will develop. I'll take the MIDI melody that I originally prepared. It is a little different from our main bass. Also notes but a slightly different pattern. I will replace the standard acoustic piano with a synthesizer. Choose Moog Model D. I will definitely do a big review of this synthesizer soon. Select this dirty keys preset. Sounds very angry and powerful. But I'll twist it a little. I will remove the noise. I will immediately add a sidekick to it. Let's make it a little more discordant. Discord plugin by Audio Damage. Preset which I already like by default makes the sound more floating. You can give character by adding the Saturn 2 plugin. Perhaps also one of my favorite saturators. Let's listen to ready-made presets. You can start with them and then screw something up. I raised the octave and the main oscillator. The sound in my opinion has become even more interesting. I have another on a shit lead like this. We just mix it with our melody. Immediately throw a sidekick on him so that he rocks to the rhythm. You already understood that it is important to use sidechain compression in this sound. And lastly, on the little things, we will finish the arrangement from the same elements that we used. And listen to the track.
Thank you all for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this video and was useful to you. Click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, be sure to send the link to your friends. I remind you that you can also always support me Dan it. The link to donate is in the description under the video. My name is Sasha St. Ryder. Until new videos.